Hey guys, Steve here with Revive, and sorry it's been so long since I've sent out a video. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on. But first thing, I just want to check in some of the food I have been eating recently, because obviously I'm now 13 weeks out from my competition. Uh, my calories are coming down, um, not, not massively down, but steadily down, and just the pure amount of time I've been dieting, um, things are starting to kind of wear and tear at me. Um, go for higher volume foods, less calorie dense. Um, also been getting at the Walden Farms, if you didn't see on Instagram, it was my birthday, and I had uh, Walden Farms syrups there. And I also got some Quest Files, so I got chocolate brownie, got banana mu nut muffin, a box of each, and um, cookies and cream. And just a quick overview of these, banana nut muffin, it's a bit boring to be honest, I uh, wouldn't buy it again. It's best put in the oven. Uh, the brownie, it's alright, so so as well. Wouldn't buy it again, it's not worth the money. Cooks and cream, lush, buy it again. Um, I've had um, cookie dough, chocolate cookie dough, that I buy again as well. So the other two, the reason I think they're not as nice, they haven't got like chunks of anything in them, whereas the cookie dough, the cookies and cream, has chunks of cookie in it. Uh, lot tastier. They all are probably nicer in the oven though, so um, I said before, five, ten seconds in microwave, smooth them out, mould them into any shape you want, in the oven for about five minutes max, uh, Bob's your uncle. So recently went to the supermarket and picked up some kind of, some of those high volume foods I was talking about to help me through my contest prep. There's something in the UK, I don't know if they have it in America, I'm sure they have some varieties of it is proper corn. And what is this? It's just low calorie popcorn. So for a 25 gram serving, which I had yesterday, pretty much filled and overflowed one of these bowls, which I can fit a fist in. Definitely filled and overflowed this bowl. 25 grams was 100 calories. And to be honest, that is for 20 grams, which would be just under, just about a bowl full of that, 96 calories, coming from 1.4 grams of protein, 0.7 carbs, and 5.2, oh no, 9.3 carbs, and 5.2 fat. So, you get a lot of volume, this whole bag's 90, calorie, uh, 90 grams, um, so you think, you don't get that many servings out of here, but it's a lot of volume, popcorn, low calorie popcorn, definitely a good shout. Also picked up some of these, which are Japanese rice crackers. Again, this is just a high volume of food per cracker. There is, I think it's eight calories per, um, eight calories per one cracker. And for a whole row, here to down there, is only 105 calories. So again, it's just a high volume of food, not quite as high as popcorn, but it's just a bit of variety. These are really um, crispy, really dense. So you actually get some nice texture there, where popcorn obviously is quite light and fluffy. That's those. Also, I still like to have some treats down there. Um, so, but obviously my treat size has kind of gone down. Rather than having, as I was bulking on like 4,250 calories, having a big bowl of Ben and Jerry's and like, some, like a Mars bar on top or something ridiculous, um, just because I was trying to get those calories in. I'm now coming down to something like a Tonux uh, wafer bar. For one of these bars, 137 calories, this is the dark chocolate variety, because they are on offer. And for one of those, 1.1 grams of protein, 21 grams of carbs, and 5.4 grams of fat. So it's not that high in fat for a uh, chocolate bar, because it's wafer, um, but you can kind of, this is quite uh, dense, and you can like, break it up and stuff, and eat it slowly. It's just kind of a nice little treat at the end of the day, if I've got some fats to play around with. Um, so I bought some more proper popcorn, proper corn even. Um, three different flavours I bought, they were on offer. Uh, sweet coconut and vanilla I've had before, it's outstanding. Uh, sweet and salty is very nice as well, and fiery Worcester sauce and sun-dried tomato sounds really good. So going for all of those. Um, bought some pickled onions. I've had pickled cucumbers, love them, the gherkins, um, and also jalapenos. So I thought, I, or jalapenos, 
and I thought I could try pickled onions because for a 25 gram serving, um, which I'm guessing is like four of these, it's eight calories. So anything pickled, there's tons of flavor there, um, but not many calories. So I got some corn thins. I mean, rice cakes are pretty low calories, 30 calories per like a normal standard size plain rice cake. But these corn thins, they're a bit of a different texture. There's a bit more to them. They're thinner, and um, per serving is 46 calories, and that's two of these. So it's almost I can have double the number of these for uh, the same sort of calories, 60 more calories. What else did I get? I picked up these were on offer. Weight Watchers. I mean, I never thought I'd see myself buying Weight Watchers stuff, but to be honest, it's just food to me. Um, wraps, notoriously, they're a funny thing, they're actually quite high in fat normally, like the normal varieties, whereas for one of these tortillas, there's 0.4 grams of fat, um, so that's really good. These are just Mexican style, plain flour tortillas, um, bought three packets of those. There's 100, just over 100 calories I believe, 107 calories, 3 grams of protein, 21.3 grams of carbs, um, of which 2.8 is fibre, and then yeah, 0.4 grams of fat. So you can see the sort of stuff I've been buying is very much calorie dense. Um, just to tell you, I've been eating a lot of things like aubergines, courgettes, mushrooms, celery, just whacking it all in a, in a big stir fry with some soy sauce or something very light, uh, low calorie and just munching through that, just to try and kind of like fill my stomach. Um, because by filling your stomach, at least it's short term uh, satiation. So that's what I've been doing guys. Um, I've got a lot more stuff to show you. Cheers. Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk about like how my prep has been going, like my mental state, like how I'm feeling hormonally, how I'm feeling energy wise. Obviously I've just told you I'm feeling very hungry a lot of the time. So ever since I got back from Paris, which is about three weeks ago, um, everything's kind of been hitting me um, in every aspect. Um, recently started as a full-time PT. As I've said many a time in my last videos, I started as a full-time PT, so I'm on my feet all day. I'm helping people, I'm doing exercise with people, and that is taking more energy from me and like mentally. It's just being on my feet all day, everything's a bit different, it's a bit more stressful. Um, so there's that that has been happening. Um, hormonally, I'm feeling, I think I feel a bit less healthy than I normally do. I don't think, I think I'm not at my set point anymore. I think I'm, I've gone below. Um, I think my set point was probably a few percent above. And I felt really good when I pulled 230 kilograms uh, for three on the deadlift. I think that was when I was making my most strength gains. I felt really good at that percent body fat. And I think when I come out of this prep, I will kind of, aim to be around that body fat again and not go above, um, which it was probably around 14, 13%, 12 to 14%, something like that. Whereas now I'm just, I'm probably just dipping under the 10, so that's um, been happening. So yeah, hormonally not not 100%, not bad, like everything's still fine, but you're not the same. Um, I'm starting to notice I'm getting a bit more touchy, a bit more sensitive to things, um, not a usual self in that that frame of mind, um, get annoyed a bit easier, uh, pick on to things that aren't necessarily anything, um, just trying to keep it to myself, um, try and keep positive and all that. It's my first prep, it's just I definitely noticed um, those sort of things happening. Um, and disappointingly, my weights have been going down in the gym. Every session this week has felt like a battle. Like I've been going in there and like, can I lift what I lifted last week? don't know. Um, to be fair, squats have actually been feeling rocking. They've been feeling really, really good, really nice. Um, good. I've got kind of got my stance. I've got kind of a hybrid stance with a slightly low bar positioning. It's been feeling really good. No legs or pains, just efficient squatting. And my fill form's actually improved a lot. Whereas deadlifting, it's feeling awful. Uh, really, really not good. I said I pulled that 230 for three. Ever since then, it's kind of been going down. And I think I'd struggle very, really strongly to hit 220 for three now. I'm not sure, I'm really not sure if I could do that. Um, 
and then bench press has kind of always just been, it kind of increased as I entered prep and then kind of stagnated. It's kind of staying level, maybe slightly decreasing. I'm hoping things are going to improve um, just as I get used to my job and stuff um, along those lines. And then in terms of weight, I've actually, it's really disappointing because this has been my first week uh, on the job as PT. I don't know if I've been holding on to more water or what, it's been very hot. I've been drinking a lot um, and my weight this week has actually been higher than two weeks prior. Um, I will do a physique update, maybe in a separate video, and show you how I'm looking. I'm thinking, my phys I actually think my physique in general is looking slightly better than it was two weeks ago. Um, so, you know, you can't always trust the scale and everything like that. Um, but it's sitting at probably an average of £174 this week. That would have only meant I've lost £19 since the beginning of my uh, comp competition prep. Um, I wasn't overly overweight then, but that's how that's going. So, hormonally and everything kind of can feel it chipping away at me. Uh, 13 weeks out now, going for high, high volume foods. Um, I will hopefully get some training footage at some point. Um, obviously, it's just been quite busy for me. Um, online coaching is still going really well. Recently bought some business cards. Um, so those will be going out. And online and in-person PT is kind of growing slowly, which is really good. Um, obviously, I've still got my newsletter, which you sign up below. I will be writing and sending one out this weekend. Uh, cheers, guys. As always, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, all of those social medias, so thank you very much. Stay tuned.